Okay, what's up and welcome back to part 3 of detailing the columns that we designed in the How to Design a Double Story Building series. So, if you remember from the first video, we talked about the line work, placing the line work, then part 2 was all about placing those bars, now putting the rebar onto the drawing. So, this is going to be part 3 and we're going to cover the last two steps which are actually preparing the bending schedule and making sure that we print and plot this drawing so that it goes out to site and they can finally use it so without wasting too much time let's just get right into it and start indicating our bars onto the bending schedule but first please 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 subscribe do not proceed unless you subscribe once you've done that let's detail or place the first bars that we need to do that so the first thing that you need to do is just make sure that the bending schedule window is open or is visible if it is not please activate it in this case it's simply saying show the bending schedule or going to show and hide the bending schedule in this case now it's up then the next thing you need to make sure that you are on layer 2 in our case go to the bottom make sure it's 2 we're already on 2 so we're on 2 now the next thing that you want to do is indicate the first bars or the first pair of bars that you put so it's simple it's going to rebar then indicating one bar click on this bar let's try to put it at this position so you're going to click there then the text position we're going to say it's going to be there then we want to change this from 1 to 4y1601 then you're going to change b2 to main bars once you are done click pop there you go then the next thing is copy the circle from this point then b3 it to this point all right let's move it back b4 now there you go so there you have done you've successfully placed your first bars onto the bending schedule and then you can see 4 y 16s 26 50 total 4 bar mark 1 shape code 41 800 100 17 50 35 just make sure you put 15 since we are definitely going to have 15 number of columns so we're going to put 15 there and we're also going to say 300 by 230 then come down say rc column let's put it in caps now yes once you've done this the next step we need to do is put the second and third bars so let's just jump right into the next step okay so the next step is quite easy this is indicating the second pair of bars that you need so to do that what you do is just go to the green bars or the second pair of bars then repeat rebar or you can just say r1 so i want to select it at this point then you're going to position the text there then you're obviously going to change it to 4y16s b2 then remove that this time around place it like this remember to always copy the circle as well this time it's going to be b3 then there you go then if you want just put positive side to indicate there will be two more bars besides these ones which will make up the four so this is okay once you're done you're good you've placed successfully placed the second bars if you go to your bending schedule they show up automatically for you now the next thing you want to do is indicate the third bars which are shape code 37 with these ones in cyan at the top so what you're going to do is you're going to repeat r1 rebar remember it's rebar one so that you're going to say r then one select shape code 37 bar Go to this point again remember it's four this time it's four y 12s remember it's four y 12s now so just put it like this then copy the circle b3 copy to that point then ei then remember the positive sign and there you go you have successfully placed them on the bending schedule so things are automatic they're coming up they're showing up on your schedule automatically which is nice and which is what you want so as you can see the importance of just making sure at the first time you're placing your bars nicely and correctly so that they show up on your bending schedule nicely and correctly as well now once we're done with shape code 37 the next thing we need to move to is zoning the main links that is LA or L1, so let's do that right away. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is quite easy. We need to zone the main links. What we're going to do is we're going to come to this. This is the link, right? The main link, the link which is in cyan. 
Then you're gonna go to rebar, then go all the way to three, in the case of drone bars and then zone one bar, select the link. In this case, what we can do, let's escape to get out of the command. Let's just place any line there, any construction line, then repeat R3, select the start of the zone, then go to the bottom. All right, text position, I'm gonna position it there. Then remember, the spacing needs to be 12 by the list diameter of the bar. In this case, we have a 12, so 12 by 12, that's 144. So we're gonna use a spacing of 140, and it's going to be links. Okay, so we are using the smallest bar for our column. We could have separated them, but that would be too much, too difficult. I'm just gonna show you the simple method. So we're gonna say spacing of 140 links. We want them to be spaced in 140, and then reduce with cover, yes. And there you go. Your links pop up, so you have 54 R8s, LA, bar mark LA, Los Angeles, and space it 140 and their links. That is good. Now, if you want, go to the bending schedule, control I, or you could have right clicked line functions and set line. All you want to do is to separate the main bars from the links, and then you just go and say links at this point. Let's just make it capital. Um, it's yes like this then you have your links and you're good to go the next thing that we now need to do is to zone the fixing links within the third lab region just remember the links the fixing links are only needed in the third, third lab region so what you're going to do is r3 select the bar then the start of the zone go to the bottom as well then text position just put it there then remember 140 but then this time there's fixing links so that the the people remember to remove them once they are done so fixing links and yes reduce with cover so what do you need you need five of these all right which is okay which is okay with me all right but what you could have actually you could have actually used um the spacing of 190 in this case so let's just control z to remove that and then r3 reselect the area okay takes position any way we want then we're going to use a spacing of 190 and then we're going to say these are fixed links so that's easy um use the cover in this case replace the existing line so it's just one link less anyways we're saving you might have saved them on the still so what you're going to do is just push this text above to this point then b4 push it to this point and then you're going to create a line from this point to there just to indicate then I think what I need is EI to change the type of line. What we can say is LG, get this line, then LS to set this line. There you go. So once you're done, you've indicated or you've zoned, you're fixing links. The next step is we need to print out this drawing. So that is what we now need to move to. And yes, as for everything else, I think we are done. Let's, we are good to go. So let's move on to zoning or printing this drawing okay so before we start printing or actually plotting our drawings we have zoned every bar and every bar is now on our bending schedule but one thing we need to do is we also need to indicate these bars on the section view so to do this what you just have to do is um come to the section now then go to rebar then indicate one bar First, let's zone or let's indicate the cyan link or the main link. Then position it there. Then remove this one there. Then just make sure that you say this is the main link. That is okay. Once you do that, click OK and don't add to schedule. Then repeat the process. Now go to the fix and link or the green link. Remove the one. And in this case, put fix and link use not links but link then don't add this to schedule and as you've seen this is now showing up nicely on our drawing now the next thing we need to print this so to do that it's quite easy all you have to do is go to title block and print bend in schedule click there so you have three options you can print schedule and sketch on one page print sketch only print schedules only so first let's print the sketch only just go to a and you don't even have to worry about the title block because it's going to be there as you can already see and you can fill it out so to do this just so print and then click ok mm -hmm. click save this is going to be sketch only so i already had it done but it's okay then you want to overwrite this 
and there you go voila there you go your sketch is now there if you want you can zoom to the actual size there it is as you can see you can actually see it nicely and well detailed out it's visible anyone on site can use this and in the case you have your title block you can fill in all these missing details in the case that you need them filled by pen it's always good to make sure that you only print some of the things and some of these you fill them by pen so that you also do a double check or verification when you are sending these pen issues out to make sure that they are the correct ones now the next thing is we want to print the schedule uh, schedule and sketch on one page in this case um, our text is conflicting a bit so we can move it down what we can do is let's just do this b b then b h then b4 so b4 to move it to this point let's just move it to that point then go back to title blog and print print schedule and sketch on one page there it is it's now showing up so don't worry about these edges so move it down a bit then title block and print print schedule and schedule one page then properties pages change it from letter to a4 there you go click ok then yeah let's just do it over right in this case there you go your schedule and your sketch are on the same page in this case you don't have to worry about having a different bending schedule and a different layout for your sketch this is okay but in the case that we had done the original thing which is we had done what we originally did we printed the sketch alone we can also print the schedules only by just saying print schedules only um yeah repeat there we go you're gonna have the schedule only so you're gonna print it then properties make sure the page is still a4 it's okay click ok then in this case you're gonna say bbs to indicate bar bending schedule then click save and then once you save it there you go you have it nicely for you the pending schedule 200 by 230 rc column with the links 15 of these multiply by each to give you 60 8 10 60 all right and there you go it tells you the amount of cages you used for the r type of steel the amount of cages used for the y type of steel 165 by 45 17 340 total giving you 1000 which is a ton and everything is done all right so you can actually even fill in the details of date detailed by if you go back you can actually fill it just say today detailed by program geek okay then reference drawing we're going to say co01 job number one two three four revision zero one sketch number just say one again schedule number we're going to say cl0205 and let me just show you what happens let's just print schedule and schedule on one page there you go it will now have the details that we just put in there so that is all of it when it comes to detailing and print now the bending shades for your columns so i've shown you all the three ways you can print them out and all the ways you can detail or zone out your bars so thank you very much for tuning in this has been a good series part one part two and part three now we're done the next thing we need to do is move to the beams or our slabs and finish off our building and then we look at designing the stairs and the roof or actually doing something else that as as we continue but we just want to cover the main things first so thank you very much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed subscribe and yo please remember stay safe stay at home and don't sneeze